We're doing Broadway in Bryant Park. Like, it's so good to be back. It feels such, it's, it's like a Broadway staple. And especially with like in the summer, which is like such a like beautiful time in New York City and the energy um, and just sort of like the idea of like having so many people uh, outside of like our, our little Broadway bubble where we kind of like extend our Broadway bubble to this amazing uh, venue of, of Broadway and Bryant Park. So I'm just excited to be back. It's it just felt so it feels so good. Oh, it's amazing. What an incredible tradition here in the city. I remember going to these shows when I was younger and um, I'm in my Broadway debut over at Aladdin so to finally be a part of it and see it coming back as like a vital part of the city is very cool it's amazing this is just an amazing opportunity to welcome audiences back in and for us to be able to share what we love most literally since I was a, like in high school at middle school even I've always like thought of Broadway as Bryant Park as like the coolest thing ever so to be here is a kind of a dream come true. Of all the things I missed because of COVID, this is one of the things I miss the most. It's a family tradition for me and my girls, my kids, and it's such a huge part of my heart. So it's so good to be back, and especially with today's lineup. We did Frozen together on yeah. Broadway, so it's always fun to be reunited with the family, and of course our amazing Disney on Broadway family. So it's amazing to be with this incredible talent yeah. to be here today. Yeah, And it feels like New York is back to life. and. Yeah. And it's so exciting to be able to sing Disney music for it because there's nothing better than Disney music. Absolutely. It's great to be out here um, to showcase Stomp and that we're still going, we're still performing strong. Uh, for everybody who hasn't remembered that we're still going, for people who forgot about the show, for people who never heard of the show, there's always a great way for people to be reminded and to reintroduce the show. So for everybody, come out. Orpheum Theater, 2nd Avenue. We're still here. We're still pumping. There's one word that comes to mind. Amazing. <laughs> it's so good to be in this beautiful park, seeing people that are from New York City or wherever, just getting a little taste of Broadway and what we do on Broadway. Oh, it's so beautiful to get to expose people who wouldn't normally go to theater to what they're missing out on Broadway. This is a beautiful, beautiful experience. And hopefully more people can see the need to go into the different theaters and see what we're doing in there. I love being able to see people face to face, to meet meet them, to hear their stories. I get to meet our sponsors. A lot of them have people here that I get to meet. So it's more than just talking on the radio. You know, I actually get to see face to face and the shows. I mean, it's Broadway for free. I idolize the folks that I got to see on these stages and to finally be one of them right now feels like a really full circle moment. I'm very grateful. Um, my wife is here too, which is very cool. Uh, yeah, it's very special to be to feel like I'm part of this long tradition and long history. It's really exciting. It's a whole different thing to be able to perform on a stage where you can actually see everybody. You know, in a theater, it's dark and whatnot. So it's honestly really exciting. I mean, what this means is accessibility. You know, it gives people a taste of the magic that we do on Broadway for free, right in their own backyard. So hopefully it gets a different demographic into the theaters to come and see the magic that is live theater. This is the kind of stuff I would have gone to with my mom as a child. And so to be able to perform for these people and it not cost anything and they get to be in the beautiful Bryant Park is really exciting for me. I think it just is, it's an important time to make theater accessible to everybody and the fact that we can all be here together on this very hot day. It's great, we'll take it, you know, so to be able to share this with everybody is a pretty big deal because it just reminds everybody how important theater is and it brings everybody together. So to be able to have access to free or affordable theater I think is really important. It's exciting. It's really exciting to have people come and see our show and everyone loves the music. Everyone loves Aladdin. And so to share it with everyone, you know, on their days instead of the nights, it's yeah. nice. And I think it's great too. Everyone's just, you know, on their lunch breaks, maybe at work, maybe they hear a song, they're hearing a little snippets of these shows and maybe makes them want to be like, oh, I heard this great song from Aladdin or Lion King. I got to check that out, bring my family. So I think it's a nice little sampler platter for everyone while they're having their lunches. We have just a beautiful, beautiful show. We've been running, you know, we've been, we've been going. We had full, amazing, pa hey, Stomp is in the house, y'all amazing audiences that have just been so excited to be there and you just feel it you feel the the excitement and that is what's happening at the new amsterdam theater it's just a beautiful thing i love it we're doing really well we love what we're doing we are really excited to continue to tell the story it's been really rewarding um again after the shutdown it's just so exciting that like our story is still being told and that we're sharing it uh with everybody eight times a week. <laughs> 106.7 FM.